the guild of Dungeoneering On a quest we're never fearing Oh, to be a Dungeoneer Swimming in pools of gold Hi, it's Rudy! Those guys are fun. But the real fun is the bard who comes after the missions. Don't worry, we'll get there. This is the guild of Dungeoneering All across the land they're cheering Oh, to be a Dungeoneer Chasing fame and glory That's him, guys. That's him. Anyway, hi, it's Rudy. Welcome to the Guild of Dungeoneering. I'm going to be checking this out. If you like it, let me know at the end, and uh, I may do more on this. But um, this is sort of a fun one. You build your dungeon as you go. We Anyway, we've received, uh, or we've written this, perhaps. The Ivory League of Explorers, the noblest and most virtuous guild in the land. Pfft, those insufferable jerks. I'll show them. They won't think me so grossly incompetent when I have my own guild. I bought a small hall in the bad part of town with the gold I borrowed from them. I've stacked, staked out a dungeon that's ripe for the picking. I've even found a chump who can do the dirty work while I sit back and watch the coins roll in. <laughs> like my father always told me, there's always someone stupider than yourself. Well, ain't that the truth? Well, he never really said it to me. Actually, he said it to everyone but me. Hey, wait a minute. Welcome to your guild. And here we are, our guild. We need to hire some Dungeoneers, so let's build a barracks. There's a barracks. And this game functions very much like that. The one that's always left behind. The solitary lump. The pawn whose fun our father grind. The sorry little chump. <laughs> <laughs> A new Dungeoneer arrived. Wow, those posters must be working. You can expand your guild to gain new Dungeoneers and abilities. Yes. But first, let's go on an adventure. Go exploring! Looks like we have... This is our little place. And here's our first quest. Rats! How original. Quest 1. Squeak, squeak. Everyone's got to start somewhere. And we'll take our chump with his five health in as our first Dungeoneer. Looks like there's a second quest follow-up to this. So, the Guild of Dungeoneering is a card game through and through. It's going to do it for me, looks like. Uh, so, basically, as it's, it's doing it, you just drag them in and then you go do the thing. Alright. Then we have three cards. As you can see here, he's going to hit me for one and then hurt himself for one. That's what that symbol means. So we, we just want to block that. He'll do the work for us. Now he's not sure what to do because of our incredible prowess. So we'll throw an ice closed punch. Now he's going to get two in here. We might as well also go do two because that'll finish him off. And as you, sh as you know, as you should know, or will know now, the health only matters during the fight. It refills right after, so it's all good. And then we're hit up with some loot. So we could take some gold, which gives us a gold card to use for more treasure later on. Or we can take a wooden stool that unlocks these abilities. A wooden board, which only gives those ones. Does this one have an uh? So this has like an attack and a block and a three block, which is pretty good, but it also has a, a wasted card. And this one just has that three block. The twig gives us an attack and block. So we can kind of get everything from this with an added negative. I'll just take that for now. So we'll do the same as they were doing. We'll create a little corridor here. We'll put a giant bat in the hallway for us. We can even connect this other one over here. So we only have to defeat three monsters total. Come at me, giant bat. Whoa, not like that. Okay, we're going to cower. Block his heal. You can heal over your maximum. There's no real maximum. Now, this attack is unblockable. So we might as well just hit him. Try to keep things even. Another unblockable? Well, I'm just going to hit you back. Uh, I will block... Oh, no, I can't block that. I will block that. 
No heals for you. Now he's going to block a red and then hit with a blue, which isn't much we can do here. I might as well pause and reflect. He's got another unblockable. Well, this is getting to be very tight down to the wire. The chump does not have very good cards. Unfortunately, it's unblockable, and we're going to die. And that's the end of this first quest. Well, thanks for watching. <laughs> so the bat kills us, we kill the bat. That's it. How many ways can a dungeon here die before you call it a day? How many children must you make cry after that pitiful display? Oh. Isn't he the best? Okay, first Dungeoneer in, first death. We made very little gold. I honestly thought we might last a little bit longer than that. Let's put the graveyard down here. Although this skill seems very grand, a Dungeoneer's life can sometimes be hard. Not always going as they might have planned. They mostly end up in this graveyard. <sighs> Was graveyard supposed to rhyme with planned? That was a poor rhyme. Hey, we got a new chump, Tahushi. Or Tashui? Anyway, whatever. Alright, how much money do we have? To buy another set of whatever. It's gonna cost us fifty gold to pick up a new class. That looks like of any of the oops any of the new classes. So, <clears throat> let's do it again. Oops, I didn't do the right button. All right. Why are you doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Oh, I guess it does my first turn no matter what. Uh -huh. Alright, hopefully we get a little bit of a better draw here. We'll throw hands. Oh, he's got two. We'll throw hands. That'll finish him. Because he does one, hell one damage to himself. Fire Blast is always nice. Having a magic attack can be really useful. Monies. Now we don't get a treasure. We almost should have taken a treasure there. So let's uh, let's room it up this way. <clears throat> we'll connect that, and I'm gonna put a giant bat because I didn't learn my lesson. And we're gonna fight this giant bat. Unblocks? Well, block this. He has a lot of unblockables. Uh, I guess I'll just block that. You're gonna heal one, eh? Not today, you won't. You're gonna heal one, eh? Well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna hit you, then. Okay, we just have to survive this attack. That'll do it. Yay! We did better than last time! <laughs> Alright, offhand we already have one. So we can get a holy seal, which will heal per blocked. Or an attack and a heal. Let's put a pigeon nest on our head. With our cup of coffee. That sounds like a wise thing to do, right? That's how you uh, act in polite society. I'll put another nasty rat up here. It looks like we're going for that one. Unfortunately, we didn't get any treasure. But as long as we beat this one, I think we have succeeded. So we'll block that so we can't get the extra... Can't get us to discard. Unblockable, so we'll hit him for two. Uh, I'll just hit him. Because we've got better health anyway. Another unblockable. Well, block this one. Yeah. 
I'll just heal the damage he did to me. Three cheers for your lucrative plundering. After all your aimless blundering. How you rode your luck without getting stuck. Left me and your enemies. Wondering. <laughs> He's so droll. So we picked up Blade One on this person. Tashui. Ta Tasui. Great, can we expand the guild yet? We can. So our options to expand the guild are a cat burglar, sort of like a rogue, a bruiser, a fighter if you will, a mime, which is an interesting one, an apprentice, which is like a mage, oops, and these are just loot. So let's try a uh, bruiser. I guess this is gold. Training yard, let's put it right next to the graveyard. Just to remind them. Not a gentle kind of dungeoneer, nor a poet, or a muser, but one that fills the heart with fear. I give to you the bruiser. Dripping with fun. Second one. Rat Pack, quest two. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to try to do the gold better, but I'm not trying to actually do it better, but I'm going to try. I'll take on a rat with some silver coins. Now the bruiser is spiky, so when you fully block an attack, you still deal damage. I don't have a block for that, so... Just throw hands back and forth. He's got an unblockable. Still just trading off at this point. Might as well also unblockable. It's going to make me discard a card. <laughs> Not today. Yeah, he took one from the spiky and we finished him off. Uh, let's let's just take some gold and see how that goes. Look at that. Look at that. Now we have to get to the Rat King and finish him off. I don't believe there's like a time limit or anything like that. Unfortunately, I think that's not going to go anywhere useful. So, how about we throw a gold pouch there. Gold coin there. Can I put this? And why? Why would I put this there? Uh, no, can't. I can put it. I can't put it anywhere. I'll just throw it down beside me. Uselessly. Let's go, you nasty rat! You dirty rat! You killed my brother. Actually, you killed that. Chump. Yeah, one damage for Spiky. Boom. Spiky all day. Oh yeah. How you like my spike tide? Uh, did we take a hat? No. We took gold last time. I might need that for the king. The perfect card. We'll put a gold coin right in there. And let's fight a rat man. There's also something negative in the room with us. Whatever that totem is. Uh, you got an attack. And you'll also lose one. I'll just hit you back. Unblockable. We'll heal ours back. 
Uh, might as well... I'll just hit you, I guess. Very nice. I will block that. This will finish you. Man, the bruiser's making this look easy. Sometimes it do be like that. Uh, let's take the stiletto. Now. I think that's what we want to do. Um, I could put a dude in between. How much tougher is the knoll? Well, we'll try it anyway. No treasure, unfortunately. Where's my two blocks when I need them? Alright, well... <clears throat> we both lose two. What does fountains do? Two stupidity. I don't want them. Get a slice in there for two. Boom, boom. Okay. Two blocks. This should this should finish him with our spiky. Oh, only one spiky. Oh, that's unfortunate. He got, he's gonna die no matter what. Oh, holy seal might be better. Let's uh, let's go sparkly headband, or we can take some gold. We'll take some gold. Throw a gold pouch down in there. Finish off our dungeon here a little bit. Put a knoll this way. Ah. Haven't fought a knoll yet. They might be more deadly. They look like they are. Do they always hit in twos? I don't like it. Let's just uh, shift it up. The cards with the... Um, glyph for an offhand. I'm going to go Shimmering Cloak, I think. The cards with the Lightning Bolt let you attack first, which is nice. Okay, so let's throw a gold pouch down. Just waste those. Alright, Rat King, you and me. You're looking pretty healthy, I gotta say. Oh, I love that I'm spiky against you rats. You dirty rats. And he'll get one from the spiky. Yes, he's only got four left. He's gonna block one. Get to draw a free card there. He's gonna get hit me for three for free anyway. I'm gonna fire blast him. Leaving him with one health. Let's just shift it up. Oh yeah. That stiletto was the right move. Do you have any decency, I wonder? Like the Ivory League of Explorers. Instead you pillage and plunder and rip everything asunder. You're just a reckless bunch of marauders. Oh, he doesn't like it when we win. He does play that music beautifully when, he, when we don't win. So we won a trophy room, a luxurious lounge. Lounge, sorry. Uh, unlocked three new adventures and picked up a battle scar which gives us one loot choice is of lower than normal which is unfortunate but a hundred dollars that see that was the kind of run you only see once in a lifetime and then you'll send countless let's put the trophy room right next to the graveyard caught up in all this doom and gloom of all the places you've wrecked it's nice to have a big trophy room. A place to quietly reflect. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's pick out a... Um, how about an apprentice? 
And we'll stick a library in. Stick a library in on this side, maybe. A practical student who's always prudent, yet very pretentious and conscientious. Another nuisance for our amusement. I give to you an apprentice. <laughs> All right. I think that's where we're going to leave it because I have 69 gold left and that's just a great place to be. So I hope you enjoyed the Guild of Dungeoneering. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. You can tell me in the comments if you want to see more of this. It's a pretty fun little game. If you don't, if you haven't played it, you should check it for yourself. Anyway, we'll see you guys all next time.